Sign law applications. Question 4. A 12 meter tree growing vertically on a hillside that is inclined at an angle of 17 degrees to the horizontal casts a shadow downhill. Determine the length of the shadow when the angle of elevation of the sun is 52 degrees. Okay. So this is related to the previous example. The only thing is, as I said earlier, the sun's position changed. Actually, you know, it is our position which changes and not sun's. But it's always convenient to make other people change rather than change yourself, right? So that's a good way of doing things. So we have the same kind of inclined plane here. But this time, the position of the sun is different. It's instead of coming from the left side, it's coming from the right side. And the shadow of the tree is now down the hill so let's make that same tree here and let's say that's the tree okay and the shadow is so that now it's like this okay okay that's how it is right okay now let's read the question once again a 12 meter tall tree so this height is 12 for us is going vertically on a hillside that is inclined at an angle of 17 degrees to the horizontal cast the shadow downhill determine the length of the shadow so we don't know the length of the shadow this time okay so this is our tree top t and let's say this is a for us and let's say this is b for us okay determine the length of the shadow when the angle of elevation of the sun is 52 degrees okay angle of elevation is always with the horizontal right so let me let me draw here okay let me use this doesn't matter so mm, okay let me draw a horizontal line here first okay. let me let me just and extend this downwards it helps so what, what I'm doing is here I'm drawing a horizontal line since I know angle of elevation and angle of elevation is always with the horizontal right so when you're looking up to the Sun you're looking at in this case degree of 52 52 degrees is the angle of elevation and if i extend this tree like this i get a 90 degree here and that really helps me to find that angle so that was the whole idea to find the angle on the top right so we say angle atb is equals to 180 degrees minus 52 let me write 90 first minus 52 degrees right and that is we can calculate this right so it is let me write 90 minus 52 equals to 38 degrees so we have this as 38 degrees correct so we know this angle in our triangle now and we know the height okay and actually speaking the triangle is is not this which I'm drawing is along the inclined plane right the triangle is this one so let me draw that a bit darker so this is this is the triangle we are interested in right so we took help of this diagram so that we could find that angle but tr truly speaking we're trying to solve triangle b a t okay so that is what we're trying to do now here we know this side is good to know that angle so that angle should be how much? It should be total is 52 minus 17, right? 17 is the inclined angle. So let me say this angle, A, A, B, T, okay? A, B, T this time is equals to how much? Is equals to 52 degrees minus 17 degrees, correct? And that is equal to 52 minus 17. 35 degrees right so we have here 35 degrees with us so we know 35 degrees so we know constant the constant here is opposite side over the known angle both are known right and so we can find anything and solve any triangle for now so it is shadow length of ba or ab so let me write ab on the top first divided by the angle opposite to this is t which is 38 degrees divided by sine of 38 degrees is equal to known side of 12 divided by this calculated angle of 35 degrees right 52 minus 17 so it's sine of 35 degrees now from here we can find what a b is so a b is 12 over 
sine of 35 degrees times sine of 38 degrees correct so that is our answer that's the shadow length right so let's figure it out so it's 12 divided by sine of 35 which is equal to 20.92 times sine of 38 which is 12.88 12 12.88 right so that is <coughs> the length of the shadow and we can say it is approximately 13 meters right so which is approximately 13 meters so our answer is of the shadow is 13 meters right so that happens to be our answer.